welcome again to AA Home Gardening. Guys, just giving you a ginger update before the big harvest day. Guys, I'm so excited. Some of my ginger is going up to like almost five feet tall, guys. It's way over four feet. So I'll go through this one. This one is the most mature one. This one I think was planted out first. So you can see, this is some of the signs that harvest is coming up, guys. Today is the 13th of November. So it's a cooler season. I normally harvest my ginger in late autumn, early winter. So looking for the signs to know that it's ready. So no ginger normally take roughly 10 months there about. But I try to give man at least a good year if I can. So this one was over winter indoors last year so this is like a month uh, one year old and you can see the ginger bloom have you ever seen ginger bloom guys mm -hmm. my ginger there's another one and these are sign guys that the ginger is mature okay so you can see two ginger bloom going on there you can see the ginger dying back and guys uh, let's see if we can dig through a little bit and see what's going on under there I don't know if we're able to see anything, but I'm not going to harvest this until probably another two, two weeks there, Bo. Okay, we'll find the ginger, guys. Where's my ginger? Okay, can see one over there. Okay. There's one branch. Oh, there's another little baby. You can see another baby coming up there. But I said I'm not ready to harvest it, guys. Mm -mm. I'm waiting for it to die back more. So more of the leaves going to go dry. And then I'm going to harvest. Can you see how this side is green? This coming a bit more yellow. So no, this one is more mature than this one over there. This was um, been in the greenhouse all season. And it was where we was getting water and I had to move it because I don't want to get waterlogged anymore. So I put it over here. Guys, um, this year, as I said in previous video, I found that if I don't put the ginger in the direct sun, it does better for me in the UK. Probably because we're in a cooler climate, I'm not sure, guys. But that's what worked for me. I found that I grow much better when it's in a semi-shaded location. So it was at the side of the greenhouse. And, you know, I had some cucumbers and cassava and all those things that was shading it. So this is the most mature one. Then, as I said, this one... After harvest, and I'll show you everything of this bucket. This one, I'm not going to harvest it. I'm going to try and see if it can stay until next year. Because most of the rind zones doesn't look like they're totally mature yet. But as I said, I'm not ready to harvest this one. So probably by the time I'm ready to harvest this one, it probably have changes going on. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to take out a weed that I just spot in there. So it was there. And I could have come back and do it, but guys, sometimes I forget, so I'm doing it while I can remember. So, yes, you know, the cherry tomato in there can stay there till so it spring up as well. But I need to show you the other ginger. So, guys, we can grow ginger in cold climate. You just have to, what I do personally, I start it indoor to extend the growing season. Okay? I start it indoor. And if you look over this one, guys, it goes up and goes up and goes up. This ginger is doing superb, guys. And you can see ginger babies way in late autumn now. The babies coming up and everything. The gingers are doing superb. We have a couple of nights of frost and everything. But because it's in the greenhouse, it's been protected. So it extend the green season. If you just rub your hand on this, guys. So gingery, so nice. And what you need to do is to make sure... You plant a good size rind zone. I normally do like two to three inches like this size, guys. I find that when I plant them any smaller than this, they sometimes tends to rot. They don't grow as well. They just rot. Okay. So this size is perfect, guys, because you can see one, two, three little section that will produce shoots. The more, the better, because you get a bigger size rind zone. But sometimes it's hard to get proper organic ginger here in the UK. So sometimes, guys, when I have my ginger like this and it's really, really good, I use as much as possible and sometimes even plant 
half of this, which is not good. As I said, they will rot. The smaller the verge, um, pieces of uh, your plant, I find that they rot sometime more. So try to see if you can at least leave a size like this to plant. You can go to an organic shop that you can get these um, organic ginger from because sometimes the ones in the supermarket, they are sprayed and they don't shoot up as nicely as the organic one. And also guys that only grow the fiery hot ginger. So I would have used it and know that the ginger is strong and then I plant that one because I don't want to plant this ginger where you have to use a massive piece just to taste the flavor of it. And guys, almost all these Asian dishes and all these things, they incorporate ginger in it, guys. And just the ginger tea is quite refreshing. So yes, guys, start these indoors at least late December. That's when I start mine. So you can start it in a small pot you don't need anything big even a size pot like this you can start a ginger in there because you're not going to stay in there okay so start it in there indoor because space is limited and everything and then as soon as spring pops up then it transplant it in a bigger container and ideally you don't want any size pot with a smaller rim because i wouldn't plant it in this guys because that's too narrow so ideally, a size like that is about 25 centimeter across there about. Plant it in a size like that so the rinds don't have space to spread, okay? Don't plant it any smaller pot than that. So yes, guys, that's my tip for growing ginger and my turmeric coming on nicely. That's just one of the turmeric pots. So, and then there's, oh, I'm surprised even turmeric still shooting up in this coal but turmeric coming on as well so yes guys so when the harvest time come guys you will see what size ginger i have grown in the uk so this was just an update to share that the ginger is almost time to harvest this particular one here that one is ready guys look at the leaves you can see the leaves changing color so in the next two weeks they're about I'll harvest the ginger with you guys and then those two at the back I'll probably harvest this one but that one definitely it's so green and pretty that one gonna be over winter indoors but I'm letting them stay all the way outside as much as possible because they prefer outside you know they have nice fresh air and everything and I can't be bothered with all of the insects and all those things so I try to keep them outdoors as long as I can so yes guys so that's my ginger update. I was trying to wait for the ginger flowers to open. But guys, the temperature have dropped so much. I don't know if the ginger flower going to open in time. But they do have a beautiful ginger flower. You know, they have the ginger that is used for shampoo. That have the most beautiful, beautiful flowers. But this one is a proper ginger that we use for cooking. But it does have a... It does have ginger flowers as well. And as I say, it's very good sign that the ginger is almost ready to be harvested. It can be harvested now, guys. And you know with ginger, you don't have to harvest all of it one time. If you just want a little piece to put in your smoothie or soup or whatever you want to do with it, your stir fry, you can just pull the dirt apart, dig up a little bit, cover back the dirt, do your thing until you're ready for the entire harvest. But I'm going to harvest all of this, guys. So yes, guys, that's how you know ginger is ready. The length of time is in the ground. The signs are coming up. And guys, you have to be careful in our climate because we have really wet autumn. If you have these outside, I would have harvested it already because it was targeting waterlogged. And ginger don't want to get waterlogged because they start to rot. But because I have them in a secure location, I can monitor the watering. As I say, I moved this from where the water was dripping. So it doesn't get waterlogged. So if it was outside, I would have harvested it already. Okay? Because it's protected. Because the longer you keep it, the energy leaves from well, leaves from the leaf. Leave from the leaf and go into the rind zone and get them much fatter. So all some of the energy is still in the leaves. You can see them nice and green. So I'm waiting as long as possible. So, yes, guys, any question about ginger growing in colder region? 
put it in the comment below guys and then i see you soon for the ginger harvest take care now bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell